Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, so I've just done an unboxing of my Galaxy Buds Pro that I received for free because I pre-ordered the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra before January the 28th. So I was entitled to put in a claim to get these Galaxy Buds for free. So be sure to check out the unboxing video. It's on my channel. I'll also leave a link to it in the description down below. Okay, so these are the buds. They come in this nice little black case. So I will be showing you how to get everything set up, how to connect the buds to the phone. Okay, so when you open the case, you simply will see this little message box pop up just to let you know that a new device has been detected hit connect and then go to the play store and type in wearable and then go ahead and install it and then open it up and then swipe up to get started and then select Galaxy Buds Pro and then hit allow okay so it's gonna ask for access to for your location select while using the app it's also going to ask for access to your contacts, allow, access to manage phone calls, hit allow, also access to photos and media on your device, hit allow, and now it's just scanning for your buds, so it's detected my buds, Galaxy Buds Pro, so select it, and now it's going to start to pair up. So just accept the pairing request, hit OK. OK, so here you get the option to report diagnostic info. It's optional, so you don't have to select it, but I will do because I like to give feedback on anything if it's not working properly okay um give access to your contacts so hit allow again access to your calendar allow access to call logs allow access to messages allow link galaxy buds pro with galaxy buds pro okay and now we are all set okay so up here at the top i like this you get to see your battery level percentage on the earbuds themselves and you also get to see the battery level on the charging case so my earbuds were charging the battery level is basically full there but on my charging case it's at 56 was it 56 i think it was okay so when you close the lid it will disconnect the earbuds from the phone but once you open it back up it will reconnect okay so the charging case is at 51 sorry i said 56 it's at 51 okay so here we have noise control options so active noise cancelling this is the new feature i believe it is and it's supposed to be improved as well with those new drivers and we have ambient sound okay so you can't actually turn it on you've got to put the earbuds or at least put one of them into your ear so i'm gonna do that
Okay, so you've got to make sure that the earbuds are in your ear properly and then um, you can switch from, from off to ambient noise cancelling or ambient sound. And we've got the different um, levels here. So medium to high for ambient sound. And for active noise cancelling, we have low to high. I'm just going to put those back in the case. Okay, so we have voice detect, so noise controls and sound settings go back to the previous state when your voice isn't detected for 10 seconds. Also have block touches, this is really cool. So if you've got the phone in your bed, so if you laid in bed with the phone listening to your music, you won't accidentally touch anything that's going to stop the music from playing. Touch and hold. So these are the different touch and hold options. So touch and hold works with Bixby and also Spotify. Also have an equalizer. So normal bass boost, soft, dynamic, clear and treble boost. Read notifications allowed. So read aloud while using phone, hear notifications from your phone, on your earbuds, even when you're using your phone. Okay, so app notifications to read aloud. So this works with the alarm messages, missed calls, and any schedules that you may have on your calendar. And we have the advanced option there. Bixby voice wake up, seamless earbud connection, 360 audio, hearing enhancements. So here are the hearing enhancement settings so maximize ambient sound volume amplify sounds from your surroundings so you can stay aware of what's going on around you and we also have the balance here from left to center to right find my earbuds Okay, I need to sign into my Google account to use that. But to find my earbuds, if you was to maybe lose the earbuds down the side of your settee or your couch, you would sign into your Google account and it would let off a sound, a tone, and you would be able to locate your lost earbuds. I'm guessing that's how it works. And then we have the general reset option here where you can reset your earbud settings back to their default settings so if you've made any adjustments or changes you could select that option to reset the earbuds back to their default state and here you can download check for any updates and download and install them so by the looks of things my earbuds are up to date and then there's tips and user manual and about earbuds. And that's it. Okay, over here you can select to add a new device, maybe a smartwatch or some speakers or anything like that. But yeah guys, this was just my setup video showing you how to set up your new Galaxy Buds Pro on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 
Also, if you don't have a Samsung device, but you decide to buy these earbuds, you can still connect them up. Um, just following the same exact procedure what I have done in the video. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. See you in the next one. Doses.